this frame right now. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> All right, well, hey, everybody, and welcome back to the second channel. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Shahi Baha, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly. I'm in Andy's Music right now, which is in Chicago, and this place is uh, pretty surreal in that everywhere you look, there's a new instrument. Um, at least that I've never heard of. <laughs> and it's just my peripheral vision right now is just completely full um, with instruments that I would love to learn, this being one of them. So a few days ago, or two days ago, I was here, decided to come in, and Max, who works here, um, he's like my <laughs> exotic instrument supplier, who <laughs> lets me know, like, hey, you need to try this out. And they had this in, and this is a Shahi Baha. It's a 15 string. And um, it has some similarities to the sitar. I think is that, no, that's something out, that's not me. There's other people in the store. So the way that this one works, it has a lot of uh, like tappy guitar sounds in it because, okay, I'll get some other shots of here, but right at the top here where you strum, you have two strings and those give you an octave. And one of them is above a fretboard underneath it. And you kind of get a tappy sound on that fretboard by hitting down these keys. So it's just one string along and then this uh, these keys bring down the string at different frets. And it's kind of cool because it gives a, adds button to like a guitar tappy sound, like maybe if I'm trying like Van Halen or something. Now the vibrato doesn't work here. So we have those two strings that are affected by the keys. Um, one more than the other. The keys actually just mute the lower one. Then under that, we have three strings that give you an A note, or A chord there. And then you're able to revert to that as you can. And then you have 10 uh, sympathetic strings here that you aren't really meant to play individually. Though during the song, I am playing them individually by going over to the tuning keys and, uh, tuning keys and getting those notes individually. But you can kind of strum as well as if you just play along the sympathetic strings will vibrate along with you depending on you know, when you hit those frequencies or not. So you have that A that you can revert to, the open string, and then these, these, uh, these bleh, sympathetic strings. Um, so, <clears throat> and another reason that this has like a kind of sitari sound is because it uses this bridge, which is a lot like, normally with a guitar or a lot of stringed instruments that I'm used to, the bridge is kind of just one single point and the string rests upon that and then vibrates freely. And in this case, the bridge actually slopes down. So it kind of slopes like this and the string rests on top of it. And then when it vibrates, it kind of smacks into it and gives you that buzzy sound. And it's a little bit more subtle on this than it would be on a sitar, but it's certainly there, particularly when you add all the sympathetic strings in there. And that's essentially the instrument. Um, I have my fingers bandaged here because it's a lot of the same strumming technique, um, and when I was using, I was just using one finger and it was kind of getting, uh, starting to hurt a little bit, so I brought the other one in there. And then, uh, yeah, you can kind of play it like a piano on the other side, and it sounds like a tappy guitar. It's particularly good for like, really quick. Uh... Yeah, so that is the Shahi Baha in a nutshell, or at least everything that I know about it. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and people will probably get mad at me if I don't hit the gong. Yeah, play the gong. Yeah, I gotta play the gong. Shot of my butt there. How's that? Awesome.